quite often if you're doing focus bracketing and focus stacking when you stack all the images together you can get stacking errors this is something that's quite hard to avoid it's just the limitations of the optics in your camera and the process of focus stacking and you can fix it by cleaning it up in photoshop depending on how long you want to spend in there but i've got a new technique i was talking to ben small world over on instagram and he showed me this technique that helps to improve your stacking output i'm going to quickly show you the difference of this extra step in stacking can make to your images. So I have several images here, I've already selected, and we're going on the extreme thing. I'm gonna be stacking like 100 images here. So this is like worst case scenario. So I'm gonna select 100 of these images, and I'm gonna right click, and we're going to export those to Helicon Focus as TIFF files. So typically I will do a method B, we're gonna keep the settings as default. These are the ones that, are, these are the settings that you'd find out of the box. Again, always experiment with these settings, so do play around with the settings. But I'm just going to click render to render out a method B, which is the depth map stacking method. Method B gives you great detail, but if you look at the background, it's a bit blotchy. So generally, I will also render out a method C, again, using default settings. So if you look at the background again, the background is nice and smooth on method C, which is the pyramid method. So typically now I take those two images into Photoshop, I'd keep the detail from method B and use the background from method C. But if we take a look at method B, and zoom in here, can you see the blurriness around the edge of the bubble. This is where the bubble was out of focus and the stacking has stacked it and it's resulted in this little bit of a blurriness. But if we look at the detail, we've got great detail in the image. If we look over at method C, the blurriness is not there from the stacking, but the detail is not quite as good as method B. And this is where Ben's technique comes in. What we're going to do is we're going to save out these two images and then run them through Helicon Focus again. So let's save out the images. Okay, and we are going to remove the images. I'm going to grab both of these images, bring them into Helicon Focus again, and we're going to use method B. Again, I'm just using default settings, and we're going to click on render. And now what we have is the detail from method B, but we also have the edges and the detail of the edges from method C. Background's still blotchy, so we still gotta do some Photoshop work on that. But again, if we look at method B, you see the blurriness around that bubble? And then we look at our new composited image, it's a lot cleaner, it's so much cleaner. And this method works great on hairs. So we need a name for this, I'm gonna call it Ben's stacking technique, something like that. It's saving a lot of time because ordinarily I'd have to go into Photoshop, I'd have to clone, stamp, do a lot of healing up on that. This is saving a lot of time. Again, I need to emphasize, you've still got to do a lot of work in Photoshop to clean it up and make it look really nice. That is a fantastic, little tip and a great time save particularly if you're like me and you spend a lot of time perfecting your images that is a great time saver and i absolutely love that little technique it's one extra step in my workflow that helps to clean up my image stacks so i want to thank ben small will for letting me know about this method i will link him in the description below but that's where i'm going to leave this video i want to thank you for getting to the end of this one and again as always i'll see you on the next one Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and click the like button. It really does help out the channel. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.